what's up everyone this is teacher Dal, and today we will be talking about statistics and probability now this lesson will be a short introduction in this subject so first what is statistics and what is probability now i will be presenting you a few questions in order for us to differentiate statistics from probability first how old are the people living in albasan how many chances are there to pick a king in a deck of cards how many chances to get heads when tossing a coin and does it rain often in kalibo than in manila now let's take a look at the first question how old are the people living in Albasan? Now, in order to answer this question, we need statistics. Does it rain often in Calibo than in Manila? This is also can be answered using statistics. How many chances are there to pick a king in a deck of cards? This can be answered using probability. How many chances to get heads when tossing a coin? Also, this can be answered using probability. Now, if you may have noticed, if the question is more about chances or possibilities, it can be answered using probability. But if a question requires a data, it can be answered using statistics. So again, statistics probability statistics can be answered using data and probability deals more on possibilities or chances in this lesson we will take a closer look at statistics statistics as a tool in decision making and statistical process in solving a problem so what is statistics as a tool in decision making statistics as a science involves the method of collecting processing summarizing and analyzing data in order to provide answers and solutions to an inquiry so again statistics is a science that involves collecting, processing, summarizing, and analyzing data. Let's take a look at statistical process in solving a problem. After the data were gathered, we must verify the quality of the data to make a good decision and provide answers to the problem or questions at hand. Now remember, it does not mean that if you have collected a data, it is already in a good quality or is it already a valid collection of data. First, we must verify the quality of the data. Now, I have here some questions for you to answer. Does this question need or does not need a statistical tool? First one, what is the height of Kevin, do you need a statistical tool? No, you can just simply ask Kevin or just measure him or just let him step on a weighing scale. Do Acropora or the section Acropora eat more than the section Ophiothrix? Of course, in this question, we need a statistical tool because we need to gather the data and correlate it with each other. Number three, how much is Ray Ann's daily allowance? In this question, we do not need a statistical tool. We can just simply ask Ray Ann, Ray Ann, how much is your daily allowance? How many holidays do we have in the month of November? So in this question, clearly, we do not need a statistical tool. And the last one, 
What is the ratio of Filipino watching K-drama to Filipino watching Pinoy teleserye? Of course, this question needs a statistical tool. Okay, so for a short quiz, get a piece of paper or you can just simply type down your answers in the comment box below. If a question is answerable by a statistical tool, write yup. If a question is not answerable by a statistical tool, write no. Nope. Number 1. What is a typical size of a Filipino family? Number 2. How many hours in a day? Number 3. How old is the oldest man in Aklan? Number 4. Is Kalibo larger than Numancia? Number 5. What is the average allowance of students in Numancia National School of Fisheries or NNSL? Number 6. Would Filipinos prefer eating bananas rather than apple? Number 7. How long did Joseph sleep last night? Number 8. How much did Justin earn from selling bananas yesterday? Number 9. What is the average height of a Filipino man? And number 10, are you done answering? Okay, let's check your answers. Number 1, what is a typical size of a Filipino family? Is this answerable by statistics or not? Answer, yep. Of course, we need to gather data in order for us to answer this question. Number two, how many hours in a day? Answer, no. We already know the answer to how many hours are there in a day. It's 24 hours. We do not need statistics for that. Number three, how old is the oldest man in a clan? Nope. We could just look for him and ask him. Number four, is Kalibo larger than Numancia? Answer, no. Nope. We could just research or we could just take a look at the historical facts of a clan or any documents that can show us the area of Numancia and Kalibo. Number five, what is the average allowance of students in NNSF? Yep, we need statistical tool in answering this question. Would Filipinos prefer eating bananas rather than apple? Answer? Yep. We need to gather data and compare it to each other in order to answer this. Number 7. How long did Joseph slept last night? Answer? Nope. We could just ask him. Number 8. How much did Justin earn from selling bananas yesterday? Answer? No. Just ask Justin. Number 9. What is the average height of a Filipino man? Of course, we do need a statistical tool in order to answer this question. And number 10. Are you done answering? Answer? Nope. Because she could just say yes or no in answering this question. That's our lesson for today. This has been Teacher Dell signing off.